my name is Sergeant First Class Sidonie McRae, originally from Melbourne, Florida, and I am a percussionist with the United States Army Band, Pershing's Own. I'm here today to give you some simple tips to improve your tambourine finger roll. So first things first, let's talk briefly about gear. I have a tambourine here where I have applied beeswax to the rolling edge of my tambourine. Some people prefer surfer's wax, but either are great. Whichever you choose, this is a crucial step to create a great finger roll because it um, creates that perfect amount of friction to make a nice consistent roll sound. So when I applied beeswax, in the past I started where my finger rolls begin. I added a little extra for good measure in order to get that good initial finger roll start and then in one stroke, applied some in the direction of my finger roll, then finished by adding a little extra where my rolls typically end. And I'll repeat that maybe one to two more times until I can see that I have a nice uh, even application of that beeswax from the very edge of my playing head tambourine in towards about, let's say, an inch and a half towards the center of the head. So next I like to blend in that beeswax that I just applied by rubbing perpendicular to the strokes that I just created. And so I'm blending essentially by pushing in towards the center of the head, like so. All right. And uh, when I'm done, if I feel like I've over applied beeswax, either because I can physically see large clumps on the head, or I go to uh, perform a finger roll and I feel like it catches on something, a larger clump of beeswax, no worries. You can just grab any sort of plastic card and very lightly scrape off in the direction of your finger roll that excess beeswax. So now that my tambourine is well prepared and I'm ready to play some finger rolls, let's talk about them. You may hear these sometimes referred to as thumb rolls because, well, you can play the rolls with your thumb, like so. For me, I find that this puts my arm in a kind of uncomfortable position and that I have more control with my articulation and releases if I play a finger roll instead with my middle finger. So for a solid middle finger roll, I brace the first knuckle of my middle finger with my thumb and I make sure to keep a solid but comfortable pinching pressure between those two fingers. The next thing to consider is the hand holding the tambourine. So just like you need equal pinching pressure between your middle finger and your thumb, you also need the hand holding the tambourine and the hand playing the finger roll to be applying equal pressure towards each other. And the last step in this is that as you're playing your finger roll along the edge of the tambourine, kind of going upwards in an upwards motion, you're counteracting that with your left hand by bringing the tambourine into your body. So keeping those all those things in mind, the very, very last step right about right before you're about to play a finger roll, is to lightly moisten the tip of your middle finger and then wipe off any excess. All right, so this is super important if your hands are inherently dry or you live in a very kind of dry climate. So now apply pressure to the tambourine with the braced middle finger and slightly moisten middle finger tip. All right, now that we feel comfortable with a roll, let's talk about the release. So releases are super important because they give structure and rhythmic clarity to the roll. Um, and there are basically two main types of releases that I like to use with my finger roll. So if it's a lighter, more delicate passage, I'll release my finger roll with my index finger by kind of creating a whipping motion where I bring my index finger down while simultaneously opening my middle and thumb 
and opening them, opening that hand, like so. All right, so let's apply that to the tambourine head. If it's a louder passage, I'll release with the heel of my hand, that bony part at the base of that palm, and create a much louder release sound to match my louder finger roll, like so. As you can tell, much louder. Now that I have, uh, we've kind of talked about those two main techniques, let's take it a little step further and talk about the dynamic variations that we can achieve with finger rolls. So a lot about how loud or soft my roll is, is actually controlled by the angle at which I hold the tambourine with my left hand, combined with the amount of pressure that I'm applying between my right and left hands. So for softer rolls, I'll hold the tambourine a little bit more perpendicular to the ground, like so. And I'll also play much more towards the very edge of the tambourine. If I want it a little bit louder, I'll cant that tambourine a little bit more towards that 45 degree angle, apply a little bit more pressure, and maybe start to slowly make my, uh, bring my middle finger in towards the center of the head just a tiny bit more. A little bit louder again, 45 degrees, more pressure. And then if I want it the loudest, it's gonna be right at that 45 degree angle. And of course, I'm gonna release with the base of my palm. I hope you enjoy uh, some little tips and tricks for improving your tambourine finger roll. And as always, happy practicing.